welcome to today's tech demo. Today we're going to be talking about a really useful tool. Um, it's called Canva. Uh, Canva is is basically just a tool for making any kind of like graphic design type of things that you want to do. Um, for example, I use Canva a lot when I make my um, tech demo intros or just like the title cards for them. You can make posters using Canva, you could do social media posts, you can make invitations, and so on. So, um, this is a free tool. You can get the paid version, which is going to give you more features to use, but I know that a lot of people that I know just use the free one, and that works really well as well. So, I'll give you guys some examples of like the different types of things that you can make. Uh, right now, I am on the home page, but if you go over here to templates, you can see that they have social media stuff for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, you can make invitations, do resumes, make cards for people, and then there's stuff for business, marketing, education, trending. So there's just a ton of different things that you can make. You can also try typing in something that you're looking for. So if I wanted to do a presentation, for example, gives me some different options for that. Uh, if you go over here to where it says features, it shows some of the different features that they offer. For example, they have free photos, background images, uh, they have icons which are basically like little stickers or like pieces of art that you can put into your flyers and stuff. Um, they do offer printing your products, so if you make an invitation, for example, and you would like to get them sent to you, you can do that, and then from there you'd be able to send them out to people. Um, and I'll do that as like a demo in just a few minutes. They've got apps that you can use, and then there's their explore page. So signing up for Canva is super easy. Um, I'm already on my account, but if you go to the website, they will give you the option to make a free account. You can just go ahead and do that. So right here under learn, uh, you can do some tutorials and Canva will kind of take you through some step-by-step -step, uh, processes of how to learn to use them basically. They have a blog as well and then uh, you can take some courses here. Let's see. So they've just got some quick um, lessons to kind of help you boost your um, graphic design skills. Uh, because uh, I think a lot of people do use Canva as a way to kind of boost their brand. Uh, of course, you can also just use it for personal projects, but you can also use it for like flyers for your business and stuff. So let's see. Social media, events, marketing, documents. Um, if I, you click over here, all your designs, it's gonna show you all the things that worked on so these are some of the things that I've done for the library which you guys have seen in our videos and stuff you can see things that have been shared with you um, brand kit I'm not entirely sure what that is because I, I use the free version but it looks like this is something that you can use if you get the paid version so create a team uh, for other people who use Canva you can make your own team and then from there, you guys can basically share folders and sharing things between each other so that you guys can uh, edit those things. Um, like here at the Moreno Valley Public Library, we do have a team, so we're able to share different our different graphic design stuff. You can look at your folders. Um, so if you want to divide up your designs and just have them a little more organized you can make your folders and you can access your trash as well i'm going to go into just kind of making a demo for you guys really quick so i'm going to do an instagram post as you can see uh you can really just go in and there are a ton of templates that people have already made and if you like the look of any of them you can just go ahead and click that and edit it as you want so I think that this is really cute because I like 8 bit stuff. Okay, so I'm going to change this to saying I love coffee. Do 
coffee shop. And this looks like it would make a really cute valentine, so... Uh, it seems like that's probably what that was intended for, so if you had just wanted to, you could have downloaded this and sent it to somebody on Valentine's Day over email or over social media. You can also look up like how this has little stickers, a little sticker here. I can actually get rid of that, and um, I'm going to show you guys on the side some of the different options of like things that you can put in here. If you go down to uploads, you can upload your own media. So you can use images, videos, and audio. A lot of the time, I will take an image that has a transparent background because if I click that image, then then whatever is behind it is uh, going to show through. So yeah, you got some videos. You can add some GIFs. You want to make it spooky you could do this eyeball right here another thing that you can do is just use the tools that they already give you so you've got some photos that canva has already uploaded and you can search for all sorts of things so we're talking about valentine's day i'll just go ahead and hit valentine and in that way you can actually make this the background this one has the canva watermark which means that it is a paid image uh, so I'm actually not going to use that one. Uh, and you can see that it's paid by looking right here. It's actually got a little crown that says Pro. So these ones are free. Um, as it says free. I'm going to click that one. Make this the background. So now that's the background. You can go to elements. And elements are basically just stickers. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. Again, I'll just put Valentine, see what they have. This one also has paid and free stickers. Hmm. Actually, so, um, so these are the ones that are not moving. All of them are actually elements, including the moving ones. Those are all called elements. But if you specifically type sticker after, uh, sticker specifically means that it's going to be moving. So I've, I've been saying sticker accidentally. But these are pretty cute. You can have this as like an invitation. A whole bunch of stuff so you guys can just kind of explore that any way you like um you can change the text so this text is cool it's like a little pixelated text i'm just going to type that in and see if anything comes up so we got this one that says retro insert coin that one insert coin seems like again it's got that crown so it's actually uh a paid one but you can look through like all sorts of different free fonts that you can use. And you can also, instead of going with like one of these pre-done templates, you can choose to just add some text. And then you can pick the font. Okay, so it'd be like that. And from there you can change the color. Uh, you can change the size and stuff. I actually like the pixelated version, so I'm just gonna go and leave it uh, as is. You can add audio if you would like, and there is free audio and there's paid audio, so. Um, okay, so I don't think that you guys can hear it because of the way that I'm recording it, but uh, this is playing and basically, this song is two minutes long, but the uh, the recording itself is only 10 seconds like this whole little image is only 10 seconds long so it's only taking a 10 second chunk of the audio and i can actually drag that and move it to be any 10 seconds out of this song uh any 10 seconds out of this song um 
So if I like that and I want to add it, I would just kind of drag it over here. And then it's a, it becomes a part of that. So now when you send it to people, it's going to have that audio attached to it. You can also add videos if you would like. Again, um, this is going to have free and paid videos. So we can add these people if I want to. Or there's a dog. There are specifically background images also. So I could actually change it to this, which looks really nice. I'm probably gonna leave it as that instead. Um, and you can always make pictures be part of the background by just like you're gonna click it, you're going to put position, and then you're gonna you're going to make it go backward or to back. Uh, right now it won't let me do that because we have a background. So I'm actually going to click this and I'm going to uh, right click it and go to detach image from background. So now the image is no longer part of the background, now it's just an image. Um, and I can put two back, but if I wanted to make this image the background then I would just also click two back. And now it goes behind whatever was uh, behind it undo all of that okay so now you can go down to uh, folders and this uh, will let you save like any images and stuff that you liked I don't currently have anything in here but if I wanted to change the uh, name of this I can do Valentine's card You can also change um, how the transitions are going to go. So this one, I can have it as none, or I can make things block themselves in. Or I can do breathe, fade, pan, rise, and tumble. Those are all the free um, photo animations that they have. So, once you are done with that, you can just take a look at it. And that is exactly how it's going to look when you upload it. Um, wherever it is that you're uploading it, or if you're sending it to people, that's how it's going to look. So now you can go to download, you can go to mp4 video, and you can save that if you're want all of the moving parts to still be there. Alternatively, you can make it as a GIF, but it won't have any music in the background. And on some platforms, uh, just keep in mind that GIFs don't really work that well. I like on Instagram, I don't think that GIFs uh, will show up. Uh, I think that they'll just show up as an image. You can also do PNG, JPEG, um, or PDF. Also, another thing that you can do is share this with people, so um, you can share a link to edit, or share a link to watch. So if I wanted to send this to like a colleague, I could copy the link, send it to them, and then they will be able to open it. As long as they have a Canva, they can open it and they can change it up any way they want. If I don't want them to be able to edit it, I would just send them the watch link instead. Okay, so it saves automatically, basically, so once I go back home, then it will it will be saved, and as you can see, there it is on my page right there. Um, so here's another one that I worked on a little, a little while ago. Uh, this one I actually just pulled straight from the templates on Canva. So as you can see here, it says Lovey's Movie Night Out. Uh, I changed it to Leah's Zoom Movie Night. So this is cool because, like I said, some people might use this for like businesses, but other people might just use it for fun. So I could actually take this and say that I want to have like a Zoom movie night with my friends. I could go after I have gone and changed everything the way I want it to. I can go to print cards, and uh, I did I did make this by typing in invitation in the templates, 
and I grabbed an invitation that I liked. So then, um, you can order cards if you'd like. I can go down and I pick the, the paper that I want, I pick the amount of copies that I want. I do not have 50 people that I want to send these to. So let's say that I want to watch, do like a Zoom movie meeting night with 10 people. So it's going to be $10, roughly, um, plus envelopes, and because I'm using a premium image, which are these little popcorn things here, uh, Canva wants to charge me $1. So okay, it's $12.20 for 10 invitations. Now say, if you wanted to invite a lot of people, say that this is like, like past COVID, um, then, and you want to send invitations to 100 people because you're having a huge post-COVID party or something. Uh, it's going to be $68. You would continue, and then it's going to ask you some questions that's, that are going to help your image get to print-ready, a print-ready stage. So, going past that, this is going to tell you how long it's going to take. Um, economy shipping is free, which is pretty cool. And then you would just put the info as to where they're going to send it to you, and then the uh, you know the payment info. From there, you could just send it to your friends and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, now another alternative to that is that you could just download it. So I can download this as a PDF or a PNG, and then once you download it, you can actually just send it to as many people as you want over email, or if you're having like an event and you just want anybody to come to it uh, who sees it like on your Instagram, you can just put like download it and upload it to your social media. So again, this is super useful. I have worked with some graphic design software, not like a whole lot, but I have worked with it in the time that I've been here with the library because we do make promotional posters and things like that. And I would say that a lot of the people who work here do use Canva because it's, uh, first of all, it's not a program that you have to download. You can just go straight onto canva.com from any, uh, from any device that allows you to access the internet and from there you can work like if i create this valentine's card um, on my phone or something i can continue it on my laptop so that's really useful uh you can share it with your whoever you want to work on it your coworkers or whoever it is um, and they can continue working on it it's very easy to access it it's very easy to share it with the team the user interface is super friendly um, so if you've never used anything like this before I also recommend Canva because of that because there's not a whole lot of things that you need to learn whereas with something like Photoshop for example that's gonna be a lot more of a learning curve so um, yeah Canva is very simple to use uh, if you guys are interested in go in us going into greater detail with like different things that you can use with it uh, just let us know in the comments below and we can go ahead and, and do a more in-depth Maybe like a very a step-by-step. -step. Here's how you do this part and this is how you do that part uh, Later on down the line for our tech demos. So thank you guys for watching today We really appreciate it and we hope to see you again next week for our next tech demo. Thanks. Bye